Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Blender 2.5 tutorial number three. Uh, we finished tutorial number two, covering the basics of navigating through the 3D scene, including uh, orbiting, uh, panning, and uh, zooming. I just wanted to add that an, another way to zoom, if you have a scrolling mouse or some way to scroll, uh, you can scroll. And if you scroll up, you zoom in, scroll down, you uh, zoom out. Um, and that could be with a mouse wheel or a trackpad on a Ma uh, MacBook Pro. Okay, so some other view options uh, that we can uh, play around with and that are actually really useful are uh, to use the numbers um, from a numpad or the numbers along the top of your keyboard if we've selected the emulate numpad option, which allow you to uh, visualize from, from uh, very standard positions. So, for example, if we hit the number 7, either on the numpad or on the top, if you've selected emulate numpad, you'll notice that we shift right to the top perspective. And we actually can see this up here in the upper left. It says top persp. Uh, so we have the top perspective. If we hit, so that's number 7. If we hit 3, we'll be looking from the right perspective, the right side of the object. And if we hit the number 1, we'll be looking from the front. So 1, 3, and 7. You'll find yourself probably going back and forth between these often in order to get a good, a solid perspective uh, on your modeling. There's the, uh, the other number keys do uh, other options in terms of uh, visualization. Uh, if you hit the, the 5 key, you'll do this strange kind of toggle back and forth. And what this is, uh, it, you can see up here it changes between what's called orthographic perspective and uh, just perspective. Um, and the, the difference is that uh, orthographic perspective has no vanishing point. You'll notice that all parallel lines stay parallel. They do not uh, converge at a vanishing point as we would normally see in a natural setting. And this can often actually be really useful uh, when we're modeling so that we don't get distorted effects from um, having a vanishing point. Um, Okay, so uh, we've covered numbers uh, again, 1, 3, uh, 7, and 5, sh shifts us between these uh, perspectives. I'm going to stay in orthographic for, for now, uh, just because it's uh, a really useful uh, perspective to, to keep. Um, now, the other numbers, uh, 2 and 8, are kind of a pair. And what 2 and 8 do, if you play around with them, is uh, 2 will uh, orbit you uh, kind of uh, downwards and 8 will orbit you upwards. And then alternatively, you've got uh, the 4 and 6 buttons, which will orbit you alternatively left and right. To get the other uh, perspectives, uh, aside from just right side, front, and top, we can do the opposites of those by holding the control key. So if we hit control in one, we'll see the back perspective. Control in three, we'll see the left. And control seven, we'll see the bottom. So uh, I think you'll find it very useful as you're doing modeling to be able to switch between these different perspectives to get really get a, a good handle on what um, you're modeling and what it looks like. So uh, another handy feature uh, that I, I'll point out now uh, is that if you put your uh, cursor inside any particular window and then hit shift spacebar, you'll actually maximize that window. Uh, and especially if you're working with a small um, uh, uh, monitor or a small screen, this becomes very uh, useful. So uh, just for a second, let's zoom in and uh, open up our 3D window. Uh, and I just want to point out that we can toggle on and off the side panels by hitting the N and T buttons, which stand for Tool and Properties. So T is for the toolbar, and N is for the Properties window. Um, okay, well, that'll wrap up Tutorial 3. We'll come back with Tutorial 4 to cover some of the basics of uh, actually some other perspectives that we can use and uh, to our benefit while modeling.